Hey YouTube, it's John coming uh, at you with week three, I think, of my YouTube videos. Uh, my lap band pre-op six month diet journey. I'm down to probably what's going to be about six months till my surgery because I've got about just a little less than five months <clears throat> left to uh, see my doctor. So I'm seeing the surgeon now. My insurance is covering all that. Um, and that's great. Uh, I had a visit today with my surgeon. It was very quick. Um, I think he's, uh, you know, I, I could hear him doing a fill in the next room. I couldn't hear him doing the fill, but I could hear him talking to the guy. And this guy was like really good shape and thin. And I think he'd made some drastic improvements just based on what I could see in the, um, in the waiting room. Uh, the doctor told me to, um, you know, he asked me how I felt this past uh, month. Their, their Tanita scales uh, weigh me quite a bit less than my home scales do, um, about four or five pounds. Um, so in total, since I saw him on the 14th um, of last month, uh, I was down to 366 today. So that was about a four pound loss since I saw him. And then the two weeks before that, I had lost around four to five pounds, which is that quick initial water and stopping drinking sodas loss. Um, did C25K today, week two, day two. Um, had a couple days off uh, in between because I wanted to get, I'm not quite on the one week cycle, week to week cycle uh, of Monday, Wednesday, Friday running. Uh, was Saturday and Sunday off, uh, but eventually I'll get to where I need to be there. But my doctor did warn me of the heat. It's like 111 here yesterday. Um, we set records, which is crazy. It's it's September, almost October now. Um, it's time for the heat to break here, but it'll break soon. Um, so this week was an off week from games uh, for me, which means I'm not at the ballpark till 11 every night and um, I don't have that late eating in the clubhouse after games that, that I normally do. Um, only one more week of that, six weeks, six more days, six more home games. Um, and then I'll have the surgery before the next season starts. So I'm really excited about that. Um, you know, everybody's gonna be real supportive of me and uh, I'm excited to make those changes during the off season so that I can stick to that because the season is a huge part of what I do um, and a huge part of why I eat the way I do. So um, this week I got a, this whole month has been a great retros introspective for me because I've learned to realize why I'm eating what I'm eating. And I think I've learned to, I've, I've sat down, I focus a lot more on what I'm eating and why I get the urge when I eat something. Um, like the other night I made cupcakes because I was told that I needed to use up the frosting that I opened because someone else in the house didn't like it. Um, and so, and she's laughing right now. Uh, so impulsively I made cupcakes. I probably shouldn't have made cupcakes, but um, uh, it's that chef in me that likes to cook and uh, my son helped and it was good. and. But now they're sitting at the house because we couldn't bring them anywhere and I butchered them because it got so hot here that the frosting melted all over the place. Um, so been munching on those a little bit, but um, still focusing on what I'm doing and, and understanding too, like somebody else mentioned in their videos, that this is the last time we really can do that stuff. Um, so I'm, I'm giving in to some of my impulses, but not many of them. Um, I told you a story about going to Payway a couple months ago and getting the um, chicken with no vegetables and fried rice with no vegetables. And that's how I used to order at Payway. And today I ordered chicken, the spicy chicken with extra vegetables and no rice. Because I know rice is one of those things that's not going to be allowed. So I'm trying to phase that, phase pasta out as well as much as I can. Um, certain things that I know my doctor, my surgeon won't allow in the thing. So... It was a good, that was a non-scale victory for me today. Um, and the guy, the people I was with, I think noticed. Um, and 
that brings me to um, kind of what I want to talk about is letting people know. Um, and I'd love any feedback on how everybody, if people let people know um, before they had their surgery, if they waited to lose weight and people said, what are you doing? You know, you're wasting away to nothing. Or how you guys attack that. I'd love some feedback in the comments on the best ways to do that. My family knows. My family's very supportive. I've told my three guy friends at work. Um, we're all big. They all, all the big guy group, the the lunch crew that we always go to lunch with, and that's one of the reasons we're all overweight. And um, they're pretty supportive. They're all we're all excited about the times that um, it can happen. Everybody's kind of on a new kick. Um, and a little adrenaline going like in a new diet, but I keep trying to explain to them that it's a lifestyle. And I keep trying to explain to people that my, the way I eat and I show them the portions, you know, when I'm sitting down for a meal or something of what I'm going to be allowed to eat and what I'm not going to be allowed to eat. And it's going to be different, um, very different, but I'm excited for it. Um, uh, let's see. I think C25K is helping me a ton. Um, with the weight loss, I'm looking forward to stepping it up. I actually, my last two runs today, I uh, ran pretty hard, um, and, uh, got pretty winded and, um, it's, it's been going well. I've had exercise induced asthma, but I'm getting over it. Uh, I think, and I think as I, as I get thinner, it's going to help. So, um, the one thing my doctor told me to do was, was to stop drinking smoothies in the morning. I've been making my smoothies with my magic bullet and start eating steel cut oatmeal. So uh, I'm looking for help out there on any recommendations. He recommended Trader Joe's little that little hockey puck type frozen steel puck steel uh, cut oatmeal's. Uh, but I didn't know um, there are like 159 per two of them, uh, and then you have to have freezer space. And we don't live anywhere near Trader Joe's. There's three in town, but none of them are really close. They're where we pass by a lot. So. He knows there was microwavable stuff because I hate mornings. I hate getting up in the mornings. I think the sleep apnea, if I have it, is was something that's helping or not helping me get up and feel refreshed. I feel very tired um, in the mornings. So I don't like to cook in the morning. I like to do something real quick um, if I have to get to work. So any recommendations you guys have on steel cut oatmeal would be great. And if you guys eat oatmeal with the band, if you guys feel that, you can get it down and it doesn't stick too much. Um, um, so I'm such a techie guy, um, and you'll find out that out soon that um, I've got all my notes here on my iPad. There is my notes for video blog. I wanted to guys show you kind of an app of the week. Um, and this week, I wanted to guys show, show you all iFitness. Um, it's a super cool app that I got off of the App Store. They have it for the iPhone, they have it for the iPod Touch, and they have it for the iPad. And they even have it for the Droid if you have an Android phone. Um, this is fantastic uh, little app that if you don't know anything about exercising and want to know, this thing is the best thing you'll ever do. I know a lot about exercising. Like I mentioned to you before, I have a couple degrees in it, and um, obviously that doesn't show, but I kind of got this for myself and my wife. Um, and it's, it's pretty amazing. You have all the exercises, and if you want to know how to do something, you click on the exercise. It shows you uh, written. Oh, all this is shoulders. And then you can even click up here, and it will actually take you through video on how to do that exercise. So there's no excuse. Um, some of the cool things that you can do are customizing your own workouts. I did this workout for my wife. Um, uh, she looked at it and thought I was crazy, um, but it's basically a ball routine, um, and there's no excuses for not being able to do it. So um, it's great. It keeps logs. Um, you can put in your workouts when you do it. If you you can sync it directly between all your apps or all your gadgets, um, and I've synced mine with my iPod Touch, and I haven't done it with my phone, but. Uh, um, so that's the app of the week, but, uh, hopefully I can show you guys some more as things progress. Um, anyway, that's enough for me today. Um, love to hear your feedback on some of the questions that I posed. Thanks. Talk to you later. Bye.